Good morning, everybody. I uh, lost my helper, Stanley, not at home as much anymore, so here I am doing it on my own. We're talking about oatmeal and soluble fiber and lowering your cholesterol, and we're going to just look at this really quick. This says that three grams of soluble fiber a day helps to lower the risk of heart disease. The cereal has two grams, and that is in a half cup dry, which is our serving that we're going to have in class notable too is that you can take a supplement like Metamucil or something of that nature that's soluble fiber. I thought this was interesting. This is a two teaspoon serving, but this one recommends down here in the little fine print that you have seven grams a day to help you with your risk of heart disease by lowering your cholesterol. You remember it scrubs your arteries clean, grabs a hold, becomes a gel, grabs a hold of the cholesterol and pulls it out of your body, which is great. So either way, um, it's really great to just eat it in the morning so you don't have to do a supplement. But if you have high cholesterol when you're older, that might be something to do both, right? Um, it's a good thing to avoid. So we're going to start off with a half cup of oatmeal, put it into our bowl. I'm going to add a little teeny bit of salt. I can't quite see how much that was. I don't think it was too much. I'm personally going to add two little things of Splenda because I'm not going to add a ton of um, other things. We're not going to do that in class because you may be adding medjool dates. You might be adding a little brown sugar and cinnamon. So you're not going to add sugar till later. You're going to do one cup of a milk product. I'm going to have different options. This is my husband's milk. He likes Fair Life because it doesn't have the last toast. It has a high concentration of vitamin D. It has an extra um, component of the DHA comp, um, omega 3s, which are really good for your brain health and no artificial growth hormones. Three times the amount of the DHA omega 3s for your brain. Um, and so they have changed it and altered it slightly by filtering it a lot, about 120 calories in one cup. I drink my oatmeal with water because I can't afford the calories and I put a little bit of um, water on when I'm done, or milk when I'm done, just to add the creaminess, but I can't afford the calories. So you're gonna pick from a whole variety of milks, one cup, whatever milk product that you choose. We're gonna microwave this for about a minute at school. So we'll come back to this. While that's microwave, I wanted to point out that I have a little small snacker size apple. It's not a very big one. You can see that it fits in my little tiny part of my hand. Um, I try to buy the small snackers. If I use a big one, I have to cut it in half and saran wrap and save it till the next day. So I'm going to go ahead and chop that up and get it ready for putting into my um, oatmeal. We're going to have a whole variety of stuff, including some chopped up apples, but things like um, medjool dates raisins, golden raisins, um, nuts, um, seeds, um, coconut flakes, chia seeds, flax meal, whatever you want to put in there. I think a little crunch is nice. So it might end up taking us a minute and a half at school. We'll see. So we're going to start with a minute and we'll find out. I have a really weak microwave at home, so it's taking a little longer. I wanted to point out that I use a little bit of Jif Extra Crunchy. Uh, peanut butter, it is a little bit higher in sugars. So the sugars are, well, it's two grams of added sugars. So not bad, three grams total. I guess it shouldn't be the end of the world here. 3% uh, daily value. So it's below our 5%, a little bit of added. So not the end of the world, but it gives you some, some of that fat. It is saturated, however. You can see that it's three and a half grams of saturated, but then if you take 16 minus three, you're getting 13 grams of unsaturated. So it's not all unhealthy. There is a lot of healthy fats in this one as well, but there is zero trans, uh, trans fats. So you'll have some nut options to put in there as well if you'd like. Okay, so my oatmeal came out. Mine was two minutes because I have a really weak little baby microwave in the basement here. And you're going to stir it up. I need my helper hand, you see. It's a swirling vortex. So I'm going to mix in my peanut butter or your nut butter, your wild butter, if you'd like. And that really thickens it up, but that helps give Miss I staying power to go from, I eat this about 6.45, 6.30 in the morning. And then we, you know, don't eat lunch till 11.30, 12. So then, you know, that's a lot of staying power. And then you would add in, you know, some of your apples. You know, I usually, I, to be honest, eat the whole apple thing here because I love to get a full serving of my apples. Now for me, you're not gonna put that many apples in as my guess because 
I probably won't let you. I'll be cheap with our money at school. And B, it's, it really gets thick. But here's what Miss I does. She adds a little bit of the milk to the top, a fourth of a cup to give it a little bit of creaminess and make me feel like I had it with milk. So it gives me that flavor and taste, but saves me on some of the calories. So instead of 120 calories, I'm getting like 30 calories of that. So, all right, that's it for oatmeal. All right, so see you guys.